Okay, what we have here today is something new from the art team. I've been trying to get out of that. And, uh, let's just say I'm getting into niggas. So, so here we go. Pocket bike, um, X7 pocket bike, 59 cc. I've been putting some stuff on it. Let me show you some stuff. All right. All right, here you go. As you can see, we have put it much. These didn't come with it when I bought it from a friend. But we put the boost bottles on there. The boost bottles come through here. Come down here. The, the, the air intake right here. Let me get the light in there. You can see the air intake right here. And you see fuel on. But one thing I have a problem with, it won't start. So I'm having problems. And I custom painted myself. Black rims, black and gold paint. You know, all of this is going to be covered up because this happens when the gas spills on it. Whenever that gas spills on the stuff, nah, that's fucking up. Especially if you spray paint. It's going to a quick job, you know. You got 30 on the dash. You got 30 on the dash. You got 30 on the dash. But it'll do 65. Isn't that a problem? <laughs> so it's like basically... Add 10 miles to that number. Like if it's 10, it's 20. If it's 20, you know, it's 30. So you just gotta add. So you feel me? Easy. But yeah, we customized it. Did a whole bunch to it. Added everything myself. I fixed it up all myself. Wiring sticking out everywhere. As you can see, that all there is. My old body is over there. That's my old body right there. I am no longer using that. You see? It's all dirty. Well, you can't see it look black, but it's dirty. It looks shiny because I spray painted part of it. For my old pieces. If anybody wants to buy them, let me know. You can take pieces off. I'll let you know what's broken, what's not broken. Like, the two bottom panels are broke, but the sides are good. You just have to paint it your color you want. These lights are not be selling. Uh, the side panels I will, but not the, uh, the, the glass neither for the thing. Took off my old carburetor. Just took off my old carburetor. And took off a lot of stuff. I was working on it, got my tool set. And or some parts, that light. Another boost bottle. I have one boost bottle on this side. Another boost bottle on that side. But I can't get it to uh, start up anymore. Doesn't want to start up. So I've been having these problems. So I, I want to let all the YouTube viewers know that I need help. You know, any help is possible. It's fast to scan because I was about to take it to the shop today. Saturday, I was going to take it to the shop today, early the day before night time. But I was like, hey, um, I'd rather fix it myself because it's cheaper. Because it's cheaper, you feel me? So, we got it right here. And, where's my key? I'll show you. I got power. I don't have my key right now. But I'll show you. I'll really show you that you got power. But, I need help. Um, I don't know if the gas mixture is too, too lean. I know it's not too rich because it's, it's, it looks like it got too much oil because it's too dark. And I know when it's too dark, it's just too too lean. So I need to uh, rich it, richen it out, which I use a five gallon. I get I do a five gallon, a whole five gallon. So um, I have more to run. I run this thing. I used to, well before I had problems. I used to run every day and a week to make sure to see how it runs, and how it, how it rides and stuff. So well, right now this thing will it like only way you can start it is if you take the spark plug out which is that thing down there. I don't know if you can see it. But this thing down here, 
if you take that out, put gas in the engine itself, and then put it on the spark plug, and then plug it back in, and then pull it to start off. But otherwise, it will not give. So, I need some help, you two. Uh, it might be up for sale. It might be up for sale for, I say, 350 or, or more. Whoever is wanting to go the highest. Because I want some. I'm not going to sell it to you, bro. I'm going to fix it before, before I sell it to you. It's going to be runnable and ride. I'm going to have to get a new black tire. This black tire is flat. Front tire is fresh new. Just pump it up, put it on. It's custom, one and only. Never going to see a gold one like this. And also, I have to add the body, which is on the black with gold screws. I got that coming in sometime next week or the week after. So I'm saying it has a HPI air filter, boost kit, new carburetor. No, not a new carburetor. Uh, boost kit. I I uh I was gonna port the motor, but I was like, nah, let me not do that and see how it runs with boost first. So I was gonna get a port port piston, port port motor. And I clean the motor out, clean the piston, make sure everything is right, make sure the seal is good. So I have to tear it down sometime tonight or tomorrow. You feel me? It's a new, brand new HBI 200 RPM or 2000 RPM. Forgot clutch on there, so it's running real. It was running real good before. You feel me? But now it's just it's messing me up. I don't know, but it's custom. Let me show you the other things. Let me show you the rest. As you can see, I have that gold and left it open because the case wouldn't fit on there with a new air intake. Custom to see a shop. I did that myself. Rams are black, trap. You got to change the back one. And the rim is black. Everything else is stock. You feel me? So, ah, get up, oh, snap. All right. So, in a minute, I'm going to do another video on how to take the uh, air take off, because I don't want to do it, but I'll do it anyway. All right, there we are. Peace out, YouTube. Uh, subscribe, comment, rate, do whatever you feel like. Curse me out and say I didn't do the video. I don't care, you know. Yeah, you can do it. All right, bye.